Welcome! I'm excited to finally show you my Royal Guard cosplay. Not only is it movie quality, but I also added my own touch to it, which I cannot wait to show you. Just like any cosplay, I always start from the bottom. So we start with the boot. This is a custom boot made specifically for this cosplay. And it has this special point that comes out from underneath the robes. Next up is the shin and knee armor. This is a custom side to my cosplay, and it goes on over my shin, and the knee goes over the kneecap. They have these leather straps that give that roaming Greek feel, and it kind of looks badass. The next piece is the first layer of the tunic. This is a single full piece, and it's made out of a special material just for the Royal Guard cosplay. Next up is the first layer of the belt. This goes on right over the tunic, just above the waist. This is where it starts getting better. The utility belt. Two pouches and a holster for a blaster. This goes on over the belt that I just put on. Next up is what I call the lobster armor. This armor goes on over your shoulders and even covers your shoulders with the shoulder armor. The back plate is just as nice as the front. The appearance of this armor with the different shades of red just give this cosplay an awesome look. After the armor is on, I put on the gloves. These gloves, just like the boots, are specifically designed for this cosplay. They're sized to my hands and they fit great. The next pieces I put on is the forearm armor. Now these are designed very well with hinges and a locking system. These unlock and once they cover your forearms, it locks up tight. So at this point in the cosplay, I have two options. I can either go with the helmet and have more of a casual, more aggressive look, or I can put on the official robes and be more movie appearance like. We're gonna go with the movie appearance like for now and then show how that looks all together. This is the overcoat or over robe that covers the entire armor set all the way down to your toes. It is two shades of red. Inside matches the inner robe or tunic. final armor piece is the helmet. This is designed for my head, the same diameter, which is nice, and it's also lined inside, matching the robes. This helmet limits a lot of mobility, and it is pretty tough to breathe inside. I will be installing fans inside that will help with some circulation. We were missing one thing, the Force Pike. This is made just like how they made it in The Return of the Jedi. Now that you've seen the entire cosplay, I'm going to show you the three different ways it can be worn. The first is what I call ceremonial, which is just like how we see in the films. The second is more of an aggression ceremonial vibe. And the third is removing the upper coat and having the armor showing with the helmet on. I appreciate everybody for watching. This is one of my new favorite cosplays. If you're interested, I do have everything linked below of where I got everything. If you want one designed for yourself. 
And thank you to all my Patreon supporters. If you're interested, that's also linked below. And may the force be with all of you. Thank you.